Vision is behind the making of runners. Praise the Lord. I'd like to welcome you to this wonderful Thursday, the 28th of July, 2022. Tomorrow is the D, 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 D day for the mid-year worship. Oh my God. I believe you're going to be tremendously blessed in the name of Jesus. Prepare to be there. If you're in the Abuja environment, you have no business anywhere other than at the Glory Dome at 9 p.m. Nigerian time for the mid-year worship and i believe that your life and destiny will not be the same anyway let's look at what were our topic is for discussion today on the seats of destiny we're looking at a modality for soul winning the bible says then philip opened his mouth and began at the same scripture and preached unto him jesus acts chapter 8 verse 35 one method of soul winning is to start from where you meet the sinner. Now in Christianity, our salvation is meant to bring salvation to others. And the chain continues. We are saved to save other people. We are saved to win souls. Now one method of soul winning is to start from where you meet the sinner. From our anchor scripture, please take note of this statement. The Bible says, and Philip began at the same scripture and preached unto him Christ. The Ethiopian eunuch was reading the book of Isaiah. When the Holy Spirit told Philip to run to him, when he ran to the Ethiopian eunuch, he preached to him by beginning from the same scripture, the book of Isaiah, where he, the Ethiopian eunuch, was reading. Where he met the man was where he started from. This means in order to get people saved, you are to preach to them from where you met them. Start your discussion with what you see or meet them doing and then progress into telling them about Jesus Christ. Preaching does not mean telling people, if you don't repent, you go to hell, you are a sinner. Look at you. All I want to do is to help you. If you like, go to hell. <laughs> no, don't preach like that. If you talk to people like that, they will send you away. You don't use harsh words to win souls. No, no one would want to listen to you if you talk to them like that. Unfortunately, this is how many people preach and they think they are being zealous for God. This is not how to preach and win souls for God. You are to begin by discussing what you met them doing. Like Philip, this means you are to begin with whatever is the most important matter to the person at the moment that you met them. The very thing you met them doing at that moment. You remember that there, there have been times there have been times I've gone out for evangelism and maybe in some of these um, villages around the airport road or whatever, actually sit down with them and help them to do what they are doing. I remember one time sitting down and peeling melon seeds along with the woman and then started talking with her. Before you knew it, the, you know, people gathered and then we now took on a full evangelistic outreach. There was another time I went to preach somewhere and they were going to have a wedding occasion and they were turning gruel kunu with a big pot over hot fire and actually collected this stick and help them to turn and then after a while and i said you know we came out because we wanted to preach the gospel of jesus to you you remember jesus was at, at a wedding in cana of galilee and their wine which is what you are doing now finished but jesus provided and then take on like that all right so remember this that one method of soul winning is to start from where you meet the sinner i believe that the lord will grant you wisdom and help you to reach out to souls every time, everywhere in Jesus name. What's our assignment today? Ask God for the appropriate grace and wisdom to use in preaching to sinners. Number two, do not judge or condemn the sinner. Praise God. Let's pray. Say, Lord, I ask for your wisdom to win souls in Jesus name. Praise the Lord. I declare today a fresh grace and divine help in soul winning is hereby released upon you in Jesus name. Praise God. Well, of course, if you are not yet born again, you can't win another person to Jesus. If you haven't given your life to Jesus, you can't 
ask someone else to join you on a journey you don't know. So before you can do what we just talked about, you need to be born again. Your ways need to be right with Jesus. You'd like me to pray for you? Then simply pray this after me. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for my sins. I know I'm a sinner. I need your help. Jesus, come into my life. Be the Lord of my life. Wash away all my sins. Make me a new person. From today, I turn my back on sin. I will live to please you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. I pray for you and I break the yoke of sin from your life. I declare you shall live for God. You shall please God all the days of your life. In Jesus' name. Praise God. Hallelujah. The Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. And right away, I'd like to pray for you. It's your birthday today. Congratulations and happy birthday. As your days are, so shall your strength be. God cause his face to shine on you and be gracious unto you. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you.